Hi again guys, it's Anna Doll. I'm going to do a comparison video of focusing on these two bodies. Here on the left is my Soul Doll Vito body in normal skin. It has the... not the hidden joints, the one the one, the one that's not the hidden joints, so it, you are able to see a piece of the peanut sticking in between the forearm and the upper arm and the, the thigh versus the, the lower leg. That, that type of joint. Um, here is my Unoa Elder body. Um, it's a hybrid. This is Milton. He has a Soldal Vito Azrael head. This head was originally on this body. Um, but because of the type of stature that I wanted him to have, um, like a skinny, scrawnier type of male, I wanted him on this Unoa body. Um, this body I bought uh, originally with the Zest head. Both of these I bought secondhand off, off of Den Denim Angels. Um, this one, I believe, was made in 2016 of last year, over the summer. Um, this Unoa uh, Zest um, package, this one was made, I believe, in 2015, if, I, if I'm recalling that correctly. Um, this is in, uh, I don't think I mentioned, this is in Fresh Skin, so you can see here. Um, first things first, um, just in case you want to see like a resin comparison. That focusing. Um, there's a bit of a glare on the this Noah hand here on the right, but there's definitely more yellow in the resin used for the Unoa Fresh Skin, um, and there's definitely more pink in this here on the left, the Soldal Vito. Um, in that you can definitely see that here with this hybrid of God, <laughs> definitely the yellow, the yellow neck versus the pink head. Um, I don't mind that one bit, but that's something. Um, one of the biggest things about this Unoa body, um, which makes it very different from the from this uh, Soldal body and different from many other bodies, is this is this neck and head connection here. Um, this inverted ball joint here, where the ball is actually here on the head and the concave portion is, rather than the neck, is actually, uh, rather than the head is here on the neck. Um, so on this chest piece, uh, th it came with two chest pieces, so here I left the unmodded larger chest piece, but on the smaller chest piece that I've got on this guy, I had to mod it so that I could put a, a little peanut there between the veto head and the, the neck there. Um, I won't be... Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put some photos of them naked side by side so you can see that. Um, I won't be doing like full body reviews for them, but I want I just want to talk about like their differences um, because this 50 centimeter range is limited and I'm hoping that it will expand as the years go on. Um, so here's to hoping. Let me just set this guy so he's there. Um, I don't know if I can get them all full shot. Um, so here I've got them standing side by side. Um, so as you can see, even though th this guy does not have a head, this is the smaller body. The Unoa body is 50 centimeters, while the Soldo Vito body is 52 centimeters. You can see here that the shoulders are raised higher than this Unoa body there. So if you can just imagine my Vito head on his original body there, He'd definitely be taller and just from the clothes even with wearing the clothing you can see this guy as I said I want a scrawnier man and you can definitely tell his frame is more life and um, life and thinner than the veto body this guy has a lot more girth and I would say muscle and meat to him see like if I pinch his chest there and then if I pinch this skinny chest here um, so there's that um, when I first got them, I compared the two hands. I would say the two hands are about the same size. Let's see if I can get this in. I would say their hands are about the same size. Different styles. Um, I do think that the Unoa hand is bonier looking and actually older looking than, than the, the Soldal Vito hand. His hand looks smoother such. such. Um, 
I really I love those types of differences from these bodies where you've got those two different looks. Um, so, in terms of posing, if you want to be looking for a good poser, honestly, I would say it would be the Unoa body after you do some work on him. Most definitely get him strong to how you want him to be and definitely hot glue suede or wire him. For, for now, I just restrung him and hot glue suede at the shoulders, at the hips, um, and at the ankles. Uh, I don't believe- I did not do the wrists, but I think I might do that. But definitely in the leg portion, where it has like a weird- this ball that loves to swivel uncontrollably, that definitely needs hot glue suede-ing. And he has- he's a great poser in the leg area because of that hot glue suede. That ball gives him the freedom to rest in different poses at the hip, and the hot glue suede, when it holds it, that's- that's great. I would say actually my Soldal Vito body is my worst poser, in my opinion. Um, definitely get him strong correctly. If you have him even a little loose, I found that even if he's a little loose, not terribly like floppy, but even a little loose, he will not stand. He couldn't stand at all. Um, so definitely Haku suading and restringing him would be good, but even, even then, I honestly think that the Noah body trumps- oh, God, I hate that term now. Um, <laughs> You know, a body um, wins in posability over over this guy when they're both hockly weighted and strung properly. Um, I'm going to compare their feet uh, because this has part to do with um, what I want. The most important thing is actually clothing, but I'm going to talk about their feet. I've got. Oh, I need to take this guy's shoe off. I think I mentioned this in my restringing video, that that chatting video. Um, Look at the size difference of these feet. Oh, geez, the wig. Um, foot size difference. That's pretty... That's pretty drastic. Uh-huh. Actually, so you see this other shoe that he's wearing? It's it's an MSD shoe. Um, MSD shoes do not fit on the Vito guy. These almost, just almost fit, but I would have ended up having to sand down his toes to just finally get it to work. Um, so this guy, the the so the uh, the Unoa Unoa elder body can wear MSD size shoes depending on the shape of the toe. Here you can see this is a doll heart shoe with a round toe. Um, as long as it's got the width and a little bit of room at the top, he can he can wear the the MSD shoes. Um, in comparison, if you want to see, here is. Long sole, quarter scale, female foot. I mean, the Noah guy is uh, wider, but um, they're just about the same, so they can basically almost wear the same with the shoes, which was really surprising. Um, I think it's a good thing so that he has at least options for wearing shoes. My options for shoes for for my sole doll body is extremely, extremely limited. Oops, I don't think this is going to work unless I fix it. Is that staying? Um, so yes, the Soldal Vito body. I did have some shoes for him, but they did look proportionally like too big for him. Um, if I have him wearing baggier clothes, it might kind of look okay so that everything looks proportionate, but if I have more skinny jeans and I have him wearing like SD shoes, it, it looks strange. So it's hard. It's hard to find um, shoes for this guy. Really difficult, especially for the style I want. So definitely the sold all website for things like clothing is your friend. <laughs> Although they've got limited styles and you might not find what you're looking for. Um, custom commissions for clothing might have to be uh, done or sewing things yourself might have to be done. Um, clothing rundown. He is wearing an unknown jacket that fits perfectly. Um, and besides this jacket, I also have a trench coat that was made for a Soldal Vito and that also fits really well. Um, but if I ever wanted to find, let's say, a jacket in a different color or a different style, it'd be difficult to find that. Um, because things like, let's 
saying SD jacket. I've tried those. It just it was too, it would become too baggy in the sleeves and way too long here at the the hem of the sleeve. Um, things like collars and epaulettes on the jackets would be out of proportion. The seam line for the shoulder would be all the way down here, which would look not as tailored as I'd like it to look. Um, so dealing with that out of, out of proportion look for the clothing is a really big problem for this guy. Um, this is uh, sold old Vito jeans that I got with him um, from about him secondhand. Uh, so this is a really good, as you can see, it, it looks like it's made to fit him. Um, I've had him wear SD pants, 70 centimeter pants, and um, I've had to just fold them in here at the at the hem them at the bottom to fold them inwards, and I'd had to uh, pull pull the waist in so that it would actually hug him there. But then the problem came with that the crotch area was too wide and the pants would be all, like very high water up here. Which I do have a problem with with this guy as well, actually. But it was just very, very obvious on the Soldal body. Um, I wouldn't recommend it or try to like uh, risk it. But if you have them in your stash, you could try it out. This is an MSD shirt uh, that I bought secondhand. Um, that was told from Alice's collection. Mm, was it Alice's collection or uh, well, it's meant for MSD. Um, it's a turtleneck. So it, it did look baggy on a regular MSD, so it was able to stretch over this Vito body. The problem is, is that the sleeves end right there, so it does look funny. And, and as you can see, um, the top of his jeans, it, it just barely, barely skims the top of his jeans. So if he were to like lean back, like you would see his stomach, or if you have him sitting you'd see like bits of his back there from the top of his jeans. Um, so tops are also very hard to find. Um, so in comparison is the Unoa guy. This Unoa body I would say is easier to dress but it also has its, um, its quirks that need to be worked out. I've had to alter many pieces for things to work for him. Um, for example, Here's a pair of SD13 pants. Um, I had to choose a pair of pants that looked skinny when they were on the SD13 doll. So if I looked at the company or the seller photo, I had to see if they looked baggy or skinny. If they were too baggy, they'd be way baggy on this guy. Um, if they were skinny, hopefully they would look proportionate for the type of pants that I wanted for this guy. Um, as you can see here, I've, I've folded it in. Jeez, oh, that's gonna keep falling. Let me not. <laughs> Put that back on. Um, so the pants were definitely too long so that has to be hemmed um, and I was grateful that the bagginess is what I wanted it to be but then here at the waist it, it just flared out so much to to be able to fit that SD13 waist I had to take it in here and up here at the waistline here at the hips and at the waist that here's the crotch area and because he's um, 1930s 1940s um, the high the high-waisted sort of look for these dress pants is appropriate but let's say you were going for a contemporary look it might look a bit strange depending on what you're going for this high watered look also helps because I have him wearing MSD tops this vest is for an MSD and the Unoa body has a very long torso his belly button is like down here. So this vest is actually high, very high above his belly button. Um, so the high watered pants help that effect that the vest is not so small on him in terms of length. Um, but the MSD vest, it is able to, it's, it's, it's good around the arm area and the shoulder area, which is very um, important. I'm using the smaller chest piece for this guy. Uh, because of that option to have MSD tops fit here in the shoulder um, area and this this girth here at the, the smaller chest piece. So I'd like to just summarize um, this sort of like review slash comparison of these two 50 centimeter range dolls. Um, 
In terms of posing, I would say that the Uno and Gai is better after both have been hawkly suede and restrung to how I'd like them to be. Um, in terms of clothing, the Unoa guy is easier to dress, but still has its limitations because of the proportions of wearing MSD clothing um, in, co uh, in conjunction with SD size um, pieces. Uh, those do need to be altered. Um, I mean, you can alter pieces for this guy, but it also needs work. Um, I would say that the... Uh, the fact that this guy can wear MSD shoes is a very big plus, whereas this guy, it's very difficult to find shoes that look proportionate and um, that would fit him. Um, in terms of hybriding, it would definitely be this guy would be easier since this guy you would have to mod his neck. I'll try to put some photos to my Flickr once I'm able to put those photos up. I'll link it in the description so you can see some naked photos. Um, I don't know if I can do the like um, a comparison video, like a pose off, like showing the different ranges of hand motions and um, knee joints side by side on video because I didn't do very well in the ring doll comparison. Um, I hope you don't mind, but you can feel free to ask me questions um, below and I'll do my best to answer those as clearly as possible. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And I hope um, you guys will also get into the 50 centimeter doll range despite its um, current troubles. Um, because I actually the challenge is actually pretty fun. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.